The Great Depression started on Wall Street in New York City, when on September 4th, 1929, stock prices began to fall. It was not until October 29th, 1929, also known as Black Tuesday, that the stock market entirely crashed, sending the global economy into a downward spiral. For the previous decade, also known as the Roaring Twenties, Wealth rose rapidly in the American economy. However, widespread and reckless stock market investments had made stocks overpriced by 1929. When the economy slowed, people suddenly panicked and sold their shares. Millions of shares were traded in less than a week, and many of them ended up being worthless. The crash, taking place in October, followed directly after the London Stock Exchange's crash in September, and it signaled the beginning of the 12-year Great Depression, which would go on to affect nearly all Western industrialized countries. The Great Depression had devastating effects on countries that were both rich and poor. The unemployment rate in the U.S. rose to 25%, and in some other countries, all the way up to 33%. International trade dropped by 50%. The stock market crash and ultimately the Great Depression were started by a speculative boom by investors who believed that the stock market would continue to rise forever, a rather ambiguous term in the realm of economics. Speculation is the the purchase of an asset with the hope that it will become more valuable at a future date. With American industries showing almost doubled profit gains in 1928, a rise in the stock exchange speculation led hundreds of thousands of Americans to invest heavily in the stock market. This caused the stock prices to become even more valuable, but the problem was that most Americans were investing with borrowed money. Just before the stock market crash, over $8.5 billion was out on loan more than the entire amount of currency circulating in the United States at the time. Soon, stock market forecasters began to predict an inevitable crash. As a result, panic selling ensued. This caused the stock market to fall from its highest high to its lowest low. During the peak of the Great Depression, the United States faced widespread unemployment and extreme hardship. Countless businesses closed down, people struggled to find work to support their families, poverty and homelessness became rampant, and many individuals relied on soup kitchens and bread lines for their daily sustenance. The employment rate reached 25%. This means that around one in four Americans were without a job. During the 1930s, the Dust Bowl had a severe impact on the Great Depression. Huge dust storms swept across the farming regions, ruining crops and causing the death of many animals. Many farmers were forced to leave their farms and move into cities where jobs were already hard to come by. This made things even harder for people who were struggling with money. The Great Depression came to an end through a combination of factors and interventions. One crucial factor was the outbreak of World War II in 1939, which stimulated industrial production and created new jobs. Additionally, the implementation of Franklin D. Roosevelt's New Deal policies, including government spending and public works programs, helped stimulate the economy and provide relief to the unemployed. By the late 1930s and early 1940s, the United States experienced a gradual economic upturn marking the end of the Great Depression. Thank you for listening.